There's something weird about the setup of a concerto, isn't there? It's, it, it's one soloist, and then there's maybe 75 people in the orchestra. And uh, even if you look at it, it's like, why, why is it one and many? Like, what, what's happening? Is it, uh, is it like an orator talking to a crowd? Or is it a, a, a battle of, of, of some kind? Or is, it, is the whole orchestra speaking with one voice? These are all possibilities. Um, but I'm the most interested, I think, in the sense that uh, the piano, when the piano speaks, that is the top layer of consciousness. That's like when I'm talking right now, my words um, are what the piano says in this concerto. But of course, at any given time, there are a million other thoughts. There's a million other layers of, of, of consciousness. The first movement is the biggest, and it's, it's really intense. I must have been going through a kind of dark life moment, or I don't know what was, was going on. Yeah. Emotionally is clearly um, about controlling a kind of chaos. There's this form of chaos that keeps surging up, and it keeps getting pushed back down. And uh, I will leave it to the listener to figure out if it wins or not. But I, uh, I think the news is probably not especially good. And the second movement is like consolation for the first movement. The second movement is um, warm and it's, it's a, like a bath. It's like a warm sonic bath. The third movement is like an escape. It's like we, we get to a new place psychologically, emotionally, and then the third movement kind of blasts off. Today I had the experience of hearing the piece a couple of times, and it's a hard piece. I take full responsibility that it's a really hard piece. But by the second time we were going through it, you could feel it locking into place. One thing I appreciate about the ASO, and I, I did even from the first note that I heard him play, which was uh, the Ebert Louisville Concerto, is that every section speaks with a distinct unified voice. You never feel like it's a bunch of individuals. And in the, in the context of an orchestra, you want it to have a potent unified voice. And man, the ASO does. Hi, I'm Matthew O'Coin, and I'm thrilled that the Alabama Symphony, uh, led by Carlos Iscare, will be premiering my piano concerto featuring soloist Connor Hannock this weekend. Um, at 8 p.m. Friday and Saturday nights at the Alice Stevens Center. I hope I'll see you there.